bettingnews.boilsports.com. I'm here with Nicola McGeady and we're going to preview the Men's Australian Open, which gets underway in a couple of days. Nicola, um, last year's winner, uh, Nadal, is obviously right up there in the betting, but surprisingly, he's not favourite. No, well, favourite's Roger Federer. He's won the most Grand Slams ever in history. He's 5-2 to two to win it, and there's always going to be those Roger Federer fans that will back him all the time. He's been backed off the walls, as always. But I think this year, it's going to be Nadal. He's coming back to his form, and I think we're going to see him like he was this time last year when he did win the Australian Open. He's had a good start to the year. He had a, he was very unlucky in the Qatar Open when he was beaten in the final by Davidenko. So he's 10 to to win it and I fancy him to actually go ahead and clinch the title I suppose people always look at Andy Murray as well from a British perspective there's always the big Murray fans he had a bad run last year, he failed to win any Grand Slam or indeed make any Grand Slam finals but he's good on hard course so he's a very good contender at 5-1 to one. So you're looking at Nadal at 130 yeah, to lift the I men's fancy. title and of course don't forget um, mm-hmm. uh, Boilsports.com. If you back any player that loses in the first or second round, we will refund your losing single outright bet on that player. Now we're going to have a look, uh, Nicola, at the ladies' tournament. A little bit more open, it has to be said, than the men's, where you could probably narrow it down to the top two, Federer and Nadal. The Williams sisters, they control tennis, and it's no surprise to see one of them is clear favourite. Which one is it? Yes, well, Serena Williams is dominating this contest. Once again, she's 5-2 to two to win the Australian Open again for the second year. Um, with Venus Williams not really in the running this time. She's 12-1, to one, which is quite a surprise. The contest, as you said, it's wide open at the moment. Kim Clijsters is back in the circuit, as is Justine Hennen. Kim Clijsters went on to win the US Open after her retirement. She's really experienced. She's a great challenger, and I think she's going to do really well. And I fancy Kim Clijsters at 3-1 to one to go on and beat Serena. Williams. If you fancy Justine Hennon again, another great and experienced player, you can get her at seven to two. Now you mentioned Venus Williams at twelve to one. Could that be a little bit too big? I don't think so. I don't think Venus Williams is back to is at her best. She hasn't been for quite some time. I think Serena is the sister that's dominating the two. And there you have it, folks. The men's and women's Australian Open from Nicola McGeady.